I think that you have to go to first principles, you have to go to the bedrock of the situation and look biologically what we are and what we are designed to eat. I don't think it holds that what we are designed biologically to eat is going to be harmful to us long term. I just I just don't think that that holds true. The idea that that we can just dismiss people that are that are improving dramatically i don't think is right either in practice in experiment when people are doing this they are improving i'm seeing people directly improved by this by the thousands reduce your diabetes which first of all significantly reduces your risk of developing heart disease eliminating metabolic disease which also significantly re reduces your risk of heart disease and other sorts of illnesses and then that doesn't matter because long term maybe something will happen well maybe but it's really going against the objective evidence, which is that they're improving. You have people improving on Alzheimer's and ulcerative colitis, Crohn's. You know, if someone's having bloody diarrhea 30 times a day, this is something that helps. And this is something that's in the literature showing that it helps. But so you see people in nursing homes, coming out of nursing homes, there's a gentleman in Scottsdale, Arizona, who is now with hundreds of people, rehabbed terminal Alzheimer's patients and gotten them home again by, by doing these sorts of dietary interventions. So maybe they die of something 10 years down the road, but you know what? They're not dying of dementia and Alzheimer's right now so that's an improvement people with MS you people die from MS and so saying that well maybe 30 40 50 years down the road someone can you know have problems uh, well they're not dead from MS so that's good so I'm glad they got 40 years to die of something else